that is going today. Hello and welcome back. Um, I just want to say hi to new subscribers because I've just been like gaining subscribers by the day and it's just so exciting because I don't know, it's just I've had this channel for what nearly three years now, so to have like 218 subscribers is like really cool and I'm really excited because like I'm doing it properly now. So the reason why I am so excited and buzzing my bum off, <laughs> don't think I can say that. But you know, hey okay. hey. Yeah, I'm gonna take this down. I don't like it. I spent ages doing it, I don't like it. Yeah. It's because Rihanna is finally on her game and releasing singles from Anti. If you don't know, I am a huge fan of Rihanna. Um I have been since God how what yeah, like 2011, 2012. And I went to go see her in 2013 at a Diamond World Tour. I didn't go to the so and seven tour because, you know, it was in London and that was the only place she was doing it. But you know, still a true fan, hardcore fan. <laughs> no, honestly. So yeah, and I've got tickets to see her um, in June with The Weeknd and Big Sean. Ah! Like I've always wanted to say I want to see The Weeknd because like he's probably the second male artist I like because Chris Brown comes first. And you're probably thinking that's a bit weird because like Rihanna and Chris Brown. But you know what? It does not matter. I like his music. So Rihanna has just released her single, Work, featuring Drake. And it's actually quite funny because I was just doing my college work. Then I got like a notification and it was like, my new single's out, go listen to it. And I was like, oh my god! She's finally doing it! Um, if you don't really like follow Rihanna and what she's doing with the album, basically She's doing this anti-diary thing where she has eight, no, why did I go like that? That's not eight. Eight rooms and like one room is open at a time. It's been going on since like the start of December, end of November and we're only on the seventh one. So hopefully, I think the eighth door is gonna be open this Friday. That's all I'm gonna say because like she tweeted, listen to anti um, and she's not opened a door on a fr Friday yet. Sorry, my fangirl is coming out now. But if it comes out on Friday, I want you to all to comment like, you were right, Beth. You're a, not a psychopath. That isn't what it was. Psychic, psychic. Yeah, I'm a psychic. That's what I am. Um, by the way, that's why I got my dressing gown because like Wednesday is basically my day off college and it's like my DOS day until I've got dance later. So like I just turned my dressing gown and I got my nails done. How pretty are they? Because I'm not at work for a month because I work at McDonald's. Um, no, Beth, you need to calm down. This is not professional. We'll be uploading a dance video soon. I am actually getting filmed by one of my media students. Um, so yeah, that will be exciting to come up. Yeah, Rihanna's just released her work single and I thought, why not film my initial reaction to this single because it's been nearly a year since she's released four to five seconds and so long since Bitch Burr had my money. So why not? Get on the ball and also it features Drake. So who does that's funny actually. Oh it's on the speaker as well. Look at that wallpaper to Rihanna. But yeah, who does not want to listen to Drake? So I'm connected to my speaker. By the way, I'm not like copywriting, I don't think. I think I need to like add details down below to make sure it doesn't copyright. So I don't want that happening. That isn't nice. I by accidentally I, I accidentally bought Tidal. So I had the 30 day, like, what's it called? Trial thing. Yeah, I had that. And obviously I cancelled the renewal and I had that for when the tickets came out because that's how I like got tickets. Um, because I got them like on the Monday even though they were really on the following Thursday. But hey, hey, yeah, you know, because like hardcore fan, I got them in whilst I was in college. <laughs> See, I'm gonna tell the story of that actually. So, when I, went, when I bought my Rihanna tickets, there was a pre-sale on um, Tidal, which is like Jay-Z's music cap thing. So I bought the 30 day free trial thing with an account and it came to the Monday and they were, really, they were being released at 10. See, I started college at 9.45. So what I planned to do was, I did this. I, when it came to like a couple of minutes before 10, I said I needed a toilet, 
but I took my bag to the toilet, you know, to like act like I've got girly problems because luckily we had like this substitute teacher thing. So yeah, I was in there for a good 10 minutes and I clicked on golden circle. But the thing is, if I bought golden circle, I would have had, I was paying for the tickets basically. So I would have owed my mum and dad like 90 pounds, something that I did not have. Um, and then when I went to go pay for the golden tickets, I didn't know my mum and dad's credit number pin from it. So I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to do this. So I had to create a new Ticketmaster account because it was through that. And I was so panicking. So I was like, text them all. I'm like, mum, what is it? What is, what is it? And she was not getting back to me. So I just went back to lesson. And all my friends knew that I was buying tickets. So when I went back, they were like, good. And I was, I was like, no, I didn't know the pin. So they were like, oh my god, that's such a bummer. Then my mum finally got back to me, told me what the pin was. So whilst I was in lesson, I was just sneakily on my phone and I bought tickets, but I bought the normal tickets because I was responsible and I thought, no, I'm going to have to pay for travel and stuff down there as well. So that no, was quite a lot. So I ended up paying 70. Standing, I'm standing. <laughs> just imagine that crowd though when Big Sean and the weekend come on. Oh my God. So yeah, that's how, that's my story on how I got Rihanna, The Weeknd and Big Sean tickets. So yeah, I've, I've by accidentally bought Tidal again for 12 99 and then I've like stopped the renewal. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Tidal, you played with her. Oh, just look at the cover. Look how hot she looks. Okay. That song is kind of like her first ever album because it's like that album was like really reggae and that's where she started and then obviously like Rated R went into like full on rock and then Talk That Talk went into R&B and then people like slated Unapologetic because of how different it was compared to her first one. And I like all of them, obviously. It's like a mixture of a girl like me and Talk That Talk together. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so I've listened to the song about six times now and I think I know the lyrics. So I'm gonna try again. I've got the lyrics here though, but I'm gonna try. Okay. I think I know when things come in as well. That's what I do when a new song comes out. Oh my god, where are the lyrics? Come on! Right, it's now. Work, 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 work. You see me do my work, 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 work. work. If you could pick the time and the place, you would spend some time away. Now you need to forward and give me all the work, 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 work. My initial opinion of the song is, of course, I love it. I like the, the, the song playing in the background a little bit. But yeah, of course I love it. I just love the fact it's like reggae and R&B. Like, I just love how it's such a mixture. And I love the fact it's so different to like, Bitch Better Have My Money and four to five seconds because it means there's gonna be such a mixture and anti. And I know like, Navy out there will completely agree how like, each album Rihanna produces is so different. Like we've waited, what, three years for this? That's ridiculous. But yeah, we waited like three years for this, so. Or is it four? Oh my god, it's not even 2015. It's four years. Four years for this. She's kept us patiently waiting like that bloody balloon! But yeah, so yeah, I absolutely love it and Ruby is definitely done as proud. So I will see you very soon and thanks for watching. Bye!